Hey, 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 welcome. If you are new here, welcome back. If you have been here before and aren't you a little darling for coming back, I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets, and today is Sunday, which means we are doing our weekly cash on stuffing, weekly check-in, and budget with me for the week. Yay! Um, this week's actually super exciting because it's a golden paycheck for us, um, which means we have more money to play with in more binders um, because we don't take any of our regular bills out of a golden paycheck. So all of our rent's already been paid for the month. Phones, internet, like, well, not phones because that's in a binder, but um, internet, insurances, things like that um, have all already been covered. So um, first of all, I got something that I thought might be a little bit fun. So I got two sets of cards. One is called Things They Don't Teach You in School. And one is called, now guys, I'm going to butcher this. So if you are, is it Danish or Swedish? Uh-oh, hold on. She's having a moment. Let me get the box out. Scandinavian or Danish. Okay. It's, I think it's pronounced... Huga, uh, but I probably have butchered that. But in, in any event, I have got these two games. So they're like, um, I don't know, conversation starters or funny games. So this one is um, all different questions, like just random questions about you. This one is just random information, <laughs> things I didn't teach you at school. It's just bizarre um, bits and pieces. I have gone through and done a little bit of censoring, you guys, because some of them... <laughs> Some of them were not budgie budgets appropriate, especially when I know that occasionally I, occasionally you guys watch with your little humans. Um, hi, Kenzie, if you're watching. Um, so yeah, I was like, whoa, we might just, <laughs> we might just censor some of those a little bit. So I'm going to have these off to the side. What I'm going to do, these ones I'm going to do on a cash stuffing day. Um, just because then I feel like we can be a little bit more chatty. And these ones we're going to do on a budget with me day. Just as something fun. Let me know if you think it's fun. If it's boring, either fast forward it or I won't do it anymore. So I'm just going to pick one at random. And pick one at random. What was New York called in the mid-1600s? New Amsterdam. Really? Really? That's so interesting because Australia was New Holland. Um, so those Dutch just getting in everywhere first. Um, I'm allowed to say that because I am Dutch. <laughs> that is my ancestry, uh, my very, very strong ancestry. So my mum was actually uh, born over in Holland, I think in Rotterdam they were. It is like my dream to go and visit. I'm a first gen Aussie on both sides of my family. So my dad was born in England. My mum was born in the Netherlands. Um, I do speak a very small amount of very sketchy Dutch. Clearly I speak English <laughs> from my dad's side of the family. Get it? Okay, I'll stop trying to be funny now. <laughs> Let's unstuff what we need to unstuff. Uh, so, oh, magical binders, this one. Okay, we are unstuffing $25 from school. Um, I don't know if you can call this a school expense, you guys. They are having crazy sock day at my youngest daughter's school. So I bought her some crazy socks for school. Um, I feel like Jen from Budgets and Dreams is going to love them. I'll show them when they arrive, but they I think they say no drama llama or something and they've got the cutest llamas on the way all multicolored. i really wanted to buy a pair for myself as well but 25 bucks for a pair of socks is outrageous um but i just wanted her to have something cool they're doing crazy sock and crazy hair day so that will be fun for them and then just 15 coming out of family fun so we'll pop that five back in um that was just we stopped off for some delicious bakery goods when we went up to visit my aunt last week um so i just pulled it out of family fun because that felt like the only really appropriate place to take it from um so just 40 that's it for this week you guys that's it who can believe it we have not had a spendy week uh except <laughs> except for groceries and takeaway um but that's that so that 40 is going back to the bank uh i will quickly do my roundup challenge but we don't have much. We only have 239 to add in this week. So I will speed you up quickly, but it's not going to take long. Oh, 
Okay, that's it. That's all she wrote. We just have not had a very spendy week, which is awesome. Um, mostly because I have just been working. Working, working, working. Um, I have so many outstanding orders. When I listed envelopes back up, my intention was to take orders for about 50 or at most 75. Uh, I have outstanding orders for approximately, I think it's more than 150 envelopes. <laughs> Whoopsies. That was not the intention, but that's okay. It's all good. I'll, I will get through them. I'm confident I will get through them. It'll be fine. Um, but yeah, it was just a little more than, a little more than I was intending. Um, and people still missed out, which I am apologetic for. Uh, okay, so next we're going to do our weekly check-in. So this, guys, this is not going to be a permanent arrangement, what I've got going on here, but this is what we've got for now. This is why I love Happy Planner. I can just go like that. And then I can have it right here where I need it to be. Where am I going to put this binder? There we go. You can sit there for a minute. Um, yeah, I do love. I do love it. Did I get out the wrong? Oh, no, no, we do do this first. Oh, dear. Oh, Freya. Sorry, you guys. I am, I am struggling with a migraine. And so my brains are not functioning well. I think after I do this, the rest of today is going to be a rest and recoup kind of vibe. Um, I'm just going to zoom you in a smidgey. Make sure you can see. Okay, so groceries. We finished last week in the negative 196.77. We topped it up with $820. And you would think, you would think that would be enough, wouldn't you? Any reasonable person might think that would be enough. I'm here to tell you, <laughs> you would be wrong. Uh, we spent 517 and 62 cents. So we have $105 left and 61 cents to get us through the rest of this week. Look, we might be able to do it. I'm hoping we will be able to do it. I'll be really, we don't, we don't need to shop for a good few more days. So there's every chance that this will be fine. Um, I am going to top it up a little bit in today's budget. Um, but this is mostly like, to be fair, I think it's like $130 roughly of this is on household goods. Um, so like I had to get new toothbrushes for like new toothbrush heads. Hubby and I both have the like Sonicare electric toothbrushes and we needed new heads and I've been putting it off for the longest time, but I'm so sick of my toothbrush beeping at me every time I use it. Uh, so I went to buy new ones. It was so much more expensive to just buy two, like two of them. A pack of two was $26 something. A pack of eight was $58. Now, you don't have to be a math genius to work out <laughs> that just buying two is a total rip off. So I bought the eight, um, but yeah, it was like 58, 60 or something like that. Uh, I also had to buy a replacement trimmer head for hubby's beard trimmer because we broke it cutting his hair. His hair is too thick. His hair is too thick. I don't know why we use that instead of the, like, well, I do because our big hair clippers are, like, on the fritz a little bit. Um, so I bought him a replacement head trimmer for that as well. And something else, I can't remember what it was. Oh, some other kind of um, hygiene or household something so I, I like significant chunk of that has gone to that i don't know you guys i don't is it helpful if i break it out I, it's it's not helpful to me i consider it groceries anyway for the most part i will put a little note in my budget for this month just going hey you bought toothbrush heads and stuff because i think feel like this month's probably that's probably going to bump this month up quite a bit more than previous months and i'll go oh what happened there um but yeah, anyway, that's what it is. This Our challenge is to stay within this amount. I'll be really stoked if we can. Um, if we go a little bit over, I'm, you know, it is what it is. I'm putting more money into groceries starting October so that we can try and catch up a little bit. And then I think it will be fine. Um, it's really, this is, I suppose, the tricky part of budgeting, um, especially if you're budgeting with somebody else. Um, so I'm in charge of our family's finances like big time, like hubby doesn't have a lot to do with, I mean, he's got access to all of our accounts and everything. Obviously he can see everything that I'm doing, um, but he doesn't have a lot of involvement in setting the budget and things like that. He just goes and spends the money when he needs to spend the money. Hubby does do all of our top up shops for groceries and he does set our meal plan each week. Usually, I mean, like I help him like decide, but for the most part it's him because he does the bulk of the cooking. Now, 
I guess when you're setting your budget, you really have to think about what it is that you value. Um, like, uh, what's his name? I want to say Ramit Sethi. I think that's his name. Um, his advice is always uh, think about what you value and spend your money there. So, of course, everybody values different things. And for my husband, he really values good food. Um, that's his thing. He wants to be able to make really nice dinners. He often makes fancy dinners, um, like really nice curries and things like that. Um, and I'm not going to take that away from him because I also really enjoy eating the things that he makes. Um, so, you know, like that's a, that's a value for him. So whilst I would love it if our grocery bill was a little bit lower, it's actually not a high priority for us to make that happen because the both of us also value the kids having, um, you know, nutritious snacks and things like that. And that's expensive. Like my kids eat nuts nearly every single day and they are so expensive. Um, you know, it would be much cheaper for me to get, like buy a box of roll-ups and be like, there you go, have a roll-up instead of the nuts. But I would prefer them to eat the nuts. Good for their teeth. It's good for their digestion, all that sort of thing. So, you know, yeah, it, it is a priority for us, but also it's not like I'm not, it's not, I'm not stressed about it. We're not throwing out boatloads of food. Um, if that was the case, I would be more worried about it, but we're just not, we, we do actually eat, you know, more or less everything. Like occasionally something will go off. Usually that's my fault because ADHD once it's in the fridge, I can't see it. It doesn't exist anymore, but it's actually not happening. It used to happen all the time. It's not happening much anymore because I'm much more on top of that sort of thing. So anyway, I'll stop waffling. Um, but yeah, that's, it's all just to say, it is what it is. I know a lot of people look at this and be like, that's out it's an outrageous amount of money to spend on groceries. But um, but it's a high it's a highly valued thing for us. And also, as I've mentioned before, going to Aldi and other discount shops like that is just not really an option for me. Like I can't go to Costco unless my husband's with me um, because I can't physically push the trolley around for long enough for it to be worthwhile for me to be there. The same with Aldi. I'm not physically capable of pushing a trolley around Aldi um, to do a grocery shop nor to do the self-checkout, like, well, not the self-checkout, but the way that they launch food at you. It's just not, it's not something that I'm capable of. And I don't want to make Harvey be doing all the grocery shopping and stuff on his weekend. Um, not that he wouldn't be happy to do it. I'm sure that he would, but um, yeah, it just, it just doesn't work well for us. So that's just one of those expenses that, yeah, is part of the cost of living with chronic illness as well. Okay, so... <laughs> I will stop now. Takeaway. We finished with money last week in takeaway, which is like amazing. But also we then had takeaway twice. <laughs> Whoops. Um, that was because we went out with my brother-in-law. So I'm not sorry. Um, so we're over 54. We'll cover that in today's budget. Uh, petrol, we were over $8 last week. So we added 10 uh, we didn't spend any, but we also have none left because I forgot to budget for binge this month uh, because we have a special deal I think it was through Telstra or it might've just been binge directly that approached me and said we could have, I actually have to check how many months it was, but we could have several months. I think it was four or five months for $2 a month. So it's just $2 a month, but I completely forgot about it. So I've just nicked it out of there. Uh, chemist had 20, got 20. I haven't spent anything out of there, which is so nice. Cause now we have $40 sitting in there. So pretty happy with that, to be honest. Now, let's get on to the exciting business of this week's budget. Okay, I do love these planners the most. I know this is not, this is an absolute shell of a planner, you guys. Um, but I do like them. Uh, they're the, do I say that already? That's a happy planner. Okay, so our income for this week, um, our regular income... I do not know what is happening, you guys, but our income from Centrelink, which is the government agency in Australia that plays like our like social security, basically, um, they have changed our payment every fortnight for the last like, I don't know, maybe six fortnights. I don't know why. And sometimes it's been minor, like a couple of dollars here and there. Today, it was like 40 or $50 less than what I was expecting. Um, so I'm not sure what that's about. I did try and ring them. I stayed on hold for like an hour and then I got disconnected. Uh, so I don't really feel like, I don't really feel like there's any point, but um, yeah, I don't know. 
Um, I have also pulled $30 out of Etsy to add to our Christmas binder. I don't know why I did it like that because I'm doing an Etsy stuffing this week <laughs> as well and I'm stuffing the Christmas binder from there. So I don't know why I didn't just leave this in there to do with that. But anyway, I didn't. So it's here. <laughs> okay. So uh, groceries is getting... Oh, I just realized, I feel like, uh, is this, oh no, it's okay. Rosaries is getting an extra 50. Takeaway is getting 108. So that'll cover what we did and give us like $54 for the coming week. Uh, because it's school holidays, I'm sure we'll use it. Petrol is getting 95. Chemist is getting 10. Why am I putting these under fixed? Because I didn't have any fixed expenses. That's why. Whoops. Dog food. These should all be down below under variable. But anyway, you get the idea. Dog food is getting 65. Spending for hubby and I getting $10 each. So that's 20. Um, what else? Garden category is getting 25 because we had to go to Bunnings and buy a new outdoor extension cord for the new mower um and i'm just going to cover it in here rather than stuffing it and then unstuffing it and then um home is getting 135 so that i don't know if you remember me a couple of weeks ago saying that i did some irresponsible spending um and got a new bedspread <gasps> you guys it's so pretty though it's so pretty i might have a problem uh with gingham i might it might be an issue. I might have an issue because I'm turning everything. It's so pretty though, you guys. It's so nice. It looks so beautiful. Um, so that is paying for the rest of that, which was on our credit card and now is not or won't be as of tomorrow uh, when we get paid. So that is, what am I doing that for? That is 508 altogether, which leaves us with $730. <clears throat> all of which is going into cash envelopes and savings. So cash envelopes are getting 620. Mini Mondays is getting a little boost. It will be a $40 Mini Monday today, uh, today, this week. And savings challenges are getting 70, which is a nice little boost as well. So all together, we are putting $730 into cash and that leaves us with absolutely nothing um so yeah it is what it is i'm choosing not to make any extra payments on debt with this particular paycheck mostly because i wanted to see that going into boosting up some categories in our cash envelopes um and our savings challenges so um yeah yeah i think that's all for today you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video i will see you tomorrow for mini mondays excitement plus um, and I will also be doing an Etsy binder stuffing this week too. And we will set up a brand new debt binder. Um, and I do also have another new binder. <gasps> what? I blame all of you. You're all encouraging me. Sean, Amanda, you all you fancy new binders. Rachel just redid her setup. I can't help myself, you guys. Um, <laughs> it's more of a challenge binder. It'll be a longer term challenge binder for my 40th and my daughter's 16th, which fall within a month of each other. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys that all probably on Tuesday, I think. So come and join me then. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you want to know about it every time I upload a video. Um, once we get to 750 subbies, I will drop some more freebies in my little freebie folder down below in my description. Um, and then once we get to a thousand, we'll do a big giveaway. I was thinking it would be so, so cool if we got to a thousand before Christmas and then I could give away a like advent calendar to somebody. That would be so cool. Um, but that's up to you guys. If you want to hit the subscribe button or not, share my videos around if you want to. Um, boost my subscriber count so you can get some more freebies. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.